Robert, with the Mason and Hamlin uh, number, I think it's 22944. I hope I got that right. But uh, in any case, I started uh, masking it off. I've got it set up now. I started masking it off, and I just thought uh, for the customer's um, sake, I'd shoot another quick video um, just to show kind of um, what I go through when I tear one down. Um, obviously, uh, pull the action out, um, blocks and all that, and I've got the action sitting in another place now. But masking off here, and uh, before I start masking off here, I am going to remove this prop stick. Prop stick and the music rack slides. This one uh, actually looks like the originals have been, uh, they probably got damaged when the um, plate was pulled out in the rebuild. And I noticed, I wish I'd have got a shot of it, maybe when I get finished and uh, pull the tape. I can show you the pin block on this piano, but here's another shot of the other music right slide. Um, the originals on the back here. You can see the outline of it here. But these are solid brass here. Um, these are typical replacements when you have that problem with those breaking. But the uh, one thing that was very good that whoever rebuilt this piano did was they um, varnished the bottom of the pin block. And um, that's going to really ensure that it does not get any moisture from the bottom. Uh, the only way it could get moisture in it now is uh, if something spilled in these tuning pin holes here. But if that doesn't happen, uh, you'll be pretty pretty good to go. Um, so I'm going to pull this off and uh, go ahead and mask this off. And I will be getting paint on this piano tomorrow. Uh, I did want to show this as well. Uh, sun fading. Um, if you look back at a few of the other video videos, or I guess about six, eight weeks ago, I posted a chickering grand that had this same issue here. Try to push this over a little if I can get it. There we go. I'm going to give you a better shot at that. It's really faded good. It, this piano obviously sat in a window. And that's what typically happens when one sits in a window. And you can see here, I can get this spun around a little. This paint is gone. I mean, it's literally all gone in this area and it's just it's flaking off with your finger here so that that is the result of putting one in a window leaving it in the window so uh, if you own a piano and you like to show it off in the window uh, even as a polyester these uh, Asian pianos and some of the European pianos uh, in the polyester finishes they'll fade as well that sun really beats on them in the window, so uh, you may not be able to see it, but when the piano is moved, you'll see it for sure, and I'm sure that was the case with this one. In any case, uh, this is update number three, and um, I'll be updating a little bit more as I go along. I may get a shot of grain filling, especially along this side tomorrow, just a real brief video of that. I'm going to move along pretty quickly here. I want to give it some time to dry. So uh, if you have any comments, um, questions, or anything, uh, if you have a Twitter account, twitter.com, at Beavers Piano, uh, over on the forum. Um, I haven't put anything there in a week or so, but um, over on the forum, pianos.proboards.com. And... Uh, uh, at the Facebook page, facebook.com slash piano rebuilder. And obviously here, you can always comment. You look below uh, the video here. You can always just comment down there. and It actually uh, hooks up with Twitter as well. So um, I'll see it via Twitter or I'll get a notification on from YouTube. So in any case, uh, thanks for looking and I uh, look forward to any comments or questions.